Huge YouTube, it's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another episode of the Spurs franchise. Here for episode number five, and like I said in the last one, this one is all about scouting. So if you guys enjoy this series, like it up, and of course subscribe. Let's get 90 plus likes. Share the videos, tweet it at the Spurs, Twitter, all of that good stuff, and just continue to show some love. So currently the team is 26 and, tw and 33. Your boy was talking about getting Cade Cunningham and all of that in the last episode. These boys started winning games. Bruh. <laughs> like they started winning games right right now. We are right outside the playoffs We are far from getting a top pick and this kind of sucks I'm not gonna lie because it's like we're not competing for anything But we are here still winning games like I don't know what's going on with, with these boys like before we were projected in like the top two now We're down here like 14 like I'm not feeling it <laughs> like, I'm really not feeling it. So in uh, this one we're gonna be scouting and looking at some p potential guys that we can actually pick up uh, in free agency, I mean, we still got backup plans because we're going to have cap room and we're putting the league on notice. So if there's a free agent that's a veteran who's not happy in their current situation, we gonna offer. Them. And I think that we put together a pretty good reason why this team is coming together. Like, don't sleep on us. Regardless, like I said before, man, let's do the scouting. Let's do all of that. I'm still going to scout in the top because let's see something real quick. So right now we got 26 wins. So we're behind one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teams. We're behind nine teams right now, but you never really know. If they start winning, we start taking L's. A whole lot of a whole lot can change in, in these next, you know, few games. Now Mo Bamba says me he's still been killing it. Hampton is taking a few L's. Uh, as far as I still hope he makes our rookie first team. He's he's been really 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 solid. But Mo Bamba pretty much has the most true player locked up. He's doing he's been playing amazing. But just getting into it, let's start up the scouting. Now, I'm only going to talk about guys that I plan on actually getting. And starting off, I would love to get Cade Cunningham. Got him in the last series. He's a 6-8 point guard. He's a 6-8 point guard. He can do everything that I actually need him to do. He can pass. He can shoot. There's really no weaknesses in his game. I'm not going to lie. Like That's as easy as it gets. Um, his bad is he got alpha dog. We need an alpha dog on the team, so... No, if I can get him, that would be perfect. At number two, I would like to get Terrence Clark. I'm, I've never gotten him before. He's still got the alpha dog in, in him as well, and he can play small forward for us if we need him to. So that can help us out. He's 6'8 as well. Um, for him, he's really athletic. Like, he's really athletic. He's not the best passer. He's really, really, like, slim. That can be a problem, but he's great for us. I'm not going to be going after Jalen Green. I used him a lot last series. Um, Brandon Boston. Uh... Doesn't he? I think he plays for Sierra Canyon. That's how I know about him. But you know, he's a solid player as well. He's 6'7, so he probably played that small forward position as well. I'm trying to get versatile guys who can play as many positions as possible. And Josh Christopher, I don't know. I like Josh Christopher a little bit more than I like Boston. And Josh Christopher, man, got the swag. He got everything that we need. One thing, you got the all star trade, he got team player. You got team player as well. Hmm. But those are the guys that are on my draft board right now. And then I guess later on in there, Greg Brown the third. Take a look at him. My core maker. Take a look at him as well. Um, of course, Sharif O'Neal is going to be in that mix. Yeah, let's... Honestly. I think this is my draft board. These are the guys that if I can get them in the NBA draft, I would declare that as a humongous dub. I don't really want to get Sharif because I don't see his potential as being high as far as 2K goes. I still think that he's going to be nice in real life. But as far as 2K, I would prefer to not really do that. But I think everything else on it is really, really nice. Right now, currently, they got us drafting Scotty Lewis. We got too many guards on this team, which is like the only problem. Like The only guard I really looked at because, because even Josh Christopher can play small forward. Was Cade Cunningham? That's because he's just an insanely good point guard. But the rest of them, I gotta play them at, at forward. So I'm not trying to draft like another guard. So Zaire, I'm not really trying to get him. Scotty Lewis, not really trying to get him either. Um, I'm trying to get guys with high potential as well. And Dallas is bad, so we might be able to get a high second round pick. Zaire Williams is gonna be there. You know, I think in real life he's like he's like rated higher than most of these guys. But regardless, man, that's what it's looking like as far as the draft goes for free agency. Some guys, normally I see like Kawhi and PG dip out on the Clippers. Let's see if that happens in this simulation, but it happens a lot. So he's looking at re signing. 
if Paul George tests free agency or tests free agency, I will go after him. Because we've shown that we can win games. I mean, I think we might be able to get a veteran, to be honest. Of course, I'm going to offer Tatum. I'm not stupid. I'm, I'm going to – We if, if we have money, every team would offer a young player. And the Celtics just got to match that ish. De'Aaron Fox don't really plan on it. Victor Oladipo would be interesting to get, but once again, he's just another guard. I would like, like, a forward, to be real with you. Um, I'm not going to offer LaMarcus unless he wants to come back for, like, the low. Uh, Drew Holiday, not really. Once again, I, I need a forward. Blake Griffin would be interested. He'd be interesting, but he's, he's, he's only deteriorating. So, unless it's a short-term deal, I'm really good on that. I'm not getting Gordon Hayward. Um, I mean, other than a few guys that I listed before, I'm not really interested in a lot of these guys. Uh, we're really just going to have to just wait and see who's actually there, there during that time. But I really want to hear you guys' opinion. Who should I go after, man? Kuzma. I don't really want Kuz. I ain't going to lie. Like, I really don't. Michael Porter Jr. If he's there, I might offer him a bag. He's 22. He can shoot. And we need a go-to score. Somebody who's a natural scorer and shooter. And that's exactly what Michael Porter is. So, if he's there and we strike out on Tatum, on PG, on, on all those – on all those older guys, yeah, yeah, I'm going after Michael Porter Jr. And Denver going to have to match it. Yeah, like, that's how it's going to have to be. They're going to have to match it. Now, we're now we going to see if they do. Mo Bamba's going to be restricted. I'm not paying him a lot of money. And it, he's on a team option, so I, I might be able to, you know, put that set a little bit. Regardless, uh, that's, that's, my, that's my ideal way of going into the offseason. Next episode, we are going to sim a few games in this sim real quick. Just to see how things go. We are winning games. I never thought I'd be this mad at winning games, but like, there's just, there, there's just no dub here. Like, there's, there's no dub here, and the Spurs were never intentionally tanked, but the, but there's no reason to really do this. Like, what we get the eight seed, pull up on on Memphis with their stack team. This Memphis team is nasty because they picked up Drummond. They got all these guys, uh, and Anthony Edwards is actually injured right now. So when he come back, that's even more nasty. So. I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think about that. Like, I really want to hear you guys' thoughts and your opinions. Obviously, this season, we didn't play a lot of games. I only showed you guys, like, the, the opener in that one game in the last video, like, where I send a lot of it. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> next season, we, we will be showing more games because that's when I think that we can actually win. So, in some ways, this is kind of beneficial of us being a higher seed because then we can, we, we can attract a player who wants to win games because we already got the pieces. We just need a go-to guy, a go-to scorer. And once we get that, we can be really, really dangerous. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. So it really j just depends. I mean, maybe we even get lucky and somebody falls to us. Like, who really knows? But regardless, I think I'm going to go ahead and head out. The squad is Liddy. I told you guys all of my plans. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Uh, but other than that, we're the 12th. Wait, did we just drop seedings a little bit? We dropped seedings. All right. Stop winning, guys. Please stop winning. <laughs> Please stop winning. <laughs> at, at this point, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. We're looking at like the ninth pick, maybe. Y'all better stop winning now. Like it's it's a wrap. All right, it's over. Regardless, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.